Casey Owens wasn't expected to live after he lost both legs in Iraq. But he made it out of this vehicle alive and to Bethesda Naval Hospital, where we first met him in October of 2004. Everyone would agree the U.S. government owes Casey the best possible medical care. No one who hears his story could say he got it. I don't know why, just I just depressed, just crying a lot, mm -hmm. feeling down, just feeling hopeless. He said that to the latest doctor he turned to in his desperate search for the help he was not getting from the Veterans Administration. Um, that's a very discouraging thing for me because, yes. I mean, that's what they're, you know, I did my part, you know, and so their part, you know, is to help heal us and definitely failed me. All he ever wanted to be was a Marine. Even after he was wounded, he donned his dress blues for President Bush's second inaugural. But the amputation on his right leg kept failing, and the VA told him he would need a fourth operation to repair the stump. What they offered me was the same surgery that had failed three times before. Each surgery meant more of his right leg had to be amputated. I didn't have much more of my leg to give. He wanted a different procedure. So I researched my did research on my own and found the doctor, which took six months of approval to get. His mother says he spent those six months with a raw stump, just waiting. He was in excruciating pain. He's sitting, laying on a bed, watching TV or staring at walls. Finally, he got the operation and, he says, a personal apology from President Bush for the delay. He was up on two legs, but still searching for treatment of the wound you can't see, the brain injury. Having a hard time getting my thoughts together and focusing, um, getting really irritable. Well, that's pretty classic uh, brain injury. What, what I'm told. <laughs> but that's not what the VA told him. You know, I've gone to the VA, you know, complained, but it's usually, you know, just shrugged off as uh, either sinus headaches or migraines or stress. Once again, on his own and with money from private charities, he came to this small medical center outside New Orleans, Nothing, huh? where Dr. Paul Harch uses pressurized oxygen chambers to treat brain-injured vets. The theory is that a pulse of a high level of oxygen can energize damaged cells and stimulate tissue growth and improvement in neurological function. You ready? Yeah. Good to go. It's an old-fashioned treatment originally developed for deep-sea divers suffering from the bends. But Harch is having encouraging results with the small number of vets he's treated so far. Cognitively, they're improving. Their quality of life is improving. They feel better. Don't feel so scatterbrained. I'm able to put, collect my thoughts a lot easier, not get lost in the middle of a sentence like I, I had been. Casey now plans to start college in the fall. Free at last. And he had to do it on his own. David Martin, CBS News, New Orleans.